Hey everybody, it's Electric and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword DLC Isle of Armor. It has been quite a while since I've recorded. I, uh, since the last time I had a huge backlog of videos on videos and one of those- Oh, I see the third trial is open back there. We can go check that out. But right now, actually, there's an event happening where we can get a shiny Waylord in the max raid dens. Um, so I think I need to take care of that. And why is it so- I'm playing during the day, man. I made it. I guess it's still daytime, but wow, it's so stormy. Um, regardless, I want to try and see if I can get that shiny Waylord real quick. Um, also, today just happens to be uh, another community day, Pokemon Go uh, Gengar community day, and I have uh, the Gengars in my box ready to transfer over. I think I'll be doing that on this episode too, along with the Alakazams I mentioned prior. So don't mind me while I run off and try to quickly. Oh, holy shit, look at this Malamar. Never really see a Malamar in action, the way it floats. Um, is it about to come after me or what? Jesus, that's a cry. Oh, okay, it's coming after me, but it's not that fast. And it just disappears. Okay. Um, dizzy here, spinning around. Alright, I'm gonna go shiny hunt for a bit. <gasps> Asorua! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go shiny hunt for a bit and I'll be back. <laughs> See you guys once I have that completed. Um. Not good, not good, not good. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, 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 <laughs> Wow, I, I learned how to avoid him, I guess. Bitch. <laughs> Is everyone in there? Not people have already switched out. I'm the only one. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> this is the first one? That's purple, right? Hell yeah! Oh, and it's, it's the, it's the, it's the, oh! Get in there, boy. Ah, oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, good. I thought I was, I thought I was uh, getting a little too cocky there. Nice. All right, back to the story. All right, welcome back. And speaking of waylords, right out there is the uh, main waylord himself. Uh, so I actually hunted for another hour after finding that. Uh, first Waylord, um, I got a friend on the line and we tried to find him a shiny as well, uh, but we were unsuccessful. So apparently me going and finding the first the first den, it wasn't the first den I checked, but definitely the first five-star Waylord that I saw. Probably within five minutes I just went and just got my shiny and I got it too, so <laughs> done deal. Um, not sure about the resetting method, if that works. Uh, we weren't positive since I didn't save right before it, um, but... Yeah, sorry if you're watching this uh, person that I raided with. Sorry we didn't get you your shiny. Anyways, uh, we'll continue on with the story now. As you can see, there are other people here, so let me turn off internet real quick. And let's go ahead and give Clara the beatdown of a lifetime. It's nice to see this thing open. Let's see if this person has anything to say. Clara's waiting for you in the battle court. Don't hold back! Is anyone else saying anything? Hee <laughs> hee, Clara seems positively bursting with energy, doesn't she? That is true. I'm completely obsessed with the moves. Oh yeah, you're the move guy. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we don't need you, we don't need you. Okay. I also got a good amount of Amorite ore. Well, who knows if it's a good amount, but I got a good... Uh, I got a few pieces of Amorite ore uh, from doing all the raids just right now, so... Maybe that'll pay off with some mood tutor stuff we'll see in the future. Also just kind of sounds like I said moob. Oh, this is kind of nice. Wow, they got a big-ass spot back here. Nice and open. pretty huge just to have one person out here standing waiting. Sorry to make you wait for a month, Clara. That's how long it's been real time. You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor, and then I'll become the poison type gym leader. I've got to win, no matter what. I'm gonna go out and totally beat you. You ready? Yeah. Why not? I don't even know if my guys are healed or what I have in front, but let's do it. <laughs> Looks like the two of you are ready. Everyone's here to watch. Good luck. I'm cheering for both of you. All right, you two, take your what? This guy just like TP'd over here. <laughs> oh, is that in game? Like, how the fuck did he get all the way over there? Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, Clara, with your dust ox hat, the Master Dojo's final trial. Ready. Ah, ha-ha. So, as I was looking up themes for this song specifically, um, 
As when I'm working, for example, maybe I'll want to... She only has four Pokémon? Um, working, I want to hear a certain theme from a song. I notice something. I'm holding a s I'm not holding a single thing back. Time to settle this. Fair and square, she says. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spike somehow got on the battle court. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, shit! I start out poisoned? Oh, that's really cool. Um, <laughs> so I actually was looking through some comments. Kind of unfortunately, as this stuff tends to happen when I take my time playing games. I was looking through some comments and just, yeah, one-shot it, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, my dear Pokemon. I should have been given better directions, but hang in there. Doesn't matter what direction you gave, Clara. That thing was done for the moment you sent it out. Should have had a Drapion level 85. That's what you should have done. <laughs> um, oh, so, oh, no, I thought I thought that was HP. So Topless isn't dead. He just leveled up. <laughs> I wonder if it's badly poisoned. Talk to Spikes is badly poisoned? Uh, we can do this. We're going to actually just try and obliterate her team completely by Dynamaxing at this point. Um, but yeah, to get back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I was uh, listening to some of the music for this battle, and I saw in the comments someone talking about how much of a cheat Clara actually is, and about how she cheats in the final battle. And I was like, oh man, I kind of wish I didn't read that for spoiler reasons, but it did alert me to this, and when I was editing the last video, I see that it's even hinted at. Oh shit, there's those ominous clouds. Not Gigantamax, but you still have all the reason in the world to worry, Clara. Fuck it up, Mega Dollar! Um, my plan here is to one-shot the rest of her team. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and put up with this. We need some difficulty in here sometimes. And they ain't giving it to us. The battle with Hop was pretty good. Actually, all this stuff is pretty fresh in my memory, considering I've gone through and uh, edited it all recently. Oh, Whirlipede still? Not a skull P, which is the final one? Yeah. I mean, the level is respectable, but... You gotta step up your game somehow out here. I'm just gonna one-shot your whole team. Yeah, you got the toxic spikes on me, but that's the only damage you got. <laughs> um, but yeah, going back to that comment, I guess, it is it is nice that they did this. I kind of wish that I didn't know, um, but it, still it's cool to just know that that's what they're doing and have this confirmed. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't letting go to the bitter end. Well, your end is about to be very bitter. <laughs> Although I can't hit your slow bro, which I knew you were going to have, just by guessing. I didn't look that up. I can't hit him with psych. I mean, I can, but it's not the same effect. Uh, I'm pretty sure bug is super effective, though. Oh, what? Watch out, audience. One dose of Clara Poison and there's no turning back. Is she going to Dynamax it? Ah! Cool, we get to see this. That will be the uh, thumbnail, I guarantee it. <laughs> well, I don't know about that actually, but we'll see. It will most likely be the thumbnail. Interesting. I kind of wish I actually got a, a chance to see what move it's going to use. <laughs> I'm talking big, but I do expect to back it up. Come on, Mega Dotler. Let the butterflies... Oh! I spoke too big! Special attack fell. They say the dose of poison. I can't read this. Here's a full course of Feast of Venom. I just... Man, sometimes I try to read these things too quickly and then I just lose it. Something about Venom. Having the arm cannon is pretty cool. We basically got a Samus Slowbro out here. And let's see how much... Yeah, that's badly poisoned. That was a lot. Well, I, this is a first for me. Uh, having to face a Dynamax enemy while not being Dynamax myself, actually. Uh, for all of the gym battles. Uh, we need some health. For all of the gym battles, I would always... Oh, am I gonna heal? Okay, good. Uh, I would always Dynamax at the very last Pokémon, which is obviously their Dynamax Pokémon as well. I never did it earlier. Uh, mostly to avoid this situation right here, so it'll be interesting to see um, if this really does change the tides in her favor or not. Her Slowbro seems to be pretty defensive, um, regardless of... Oh! Um, yeah, let's just U-turn out of here. The next thing I throw in will be poison, unless, of course, I throw in Toxtricity. Um, unfortunately, this Slowbro is not Water-type, so Toxtricity won't be won't be the guy here. Uh, but what Dark will do just fine. It's Poison Psychic, so Ground would be good, too. We don't have any, though. Oh, Toxtricity's totally damaged from my uh, 
uh, a rating just now. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, Ozaru, you can handle it. You can handle getting hit with poison, right? That's no big deal. This is gonna be really bad. Also, oh, okay, yeah. Good to switch in on this. I can take this, no problem. And this Dynamax is gonna go away after this too, so we don't have to worry about a max ooze. Oh, there was terrain? I didn't even know what it was. Interesting, I almost never make it through a battle where uh, both parties have Dynamaxed. And they come out of the Dynamax without being dead, too. And of course no one dies. Done deal! Slap that Slubber on the head. Make his purple forehead as red as the rest of his skin. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Sorry, Clara. You tried to cheat, but it didn't work out. <laughs> But I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. Yeah, even by setting up the field in your favor. The victor has been decided. And the one to complete the third trial is you, Andre. That was amazing. What a fierce battle. Oh, well done. You both gave it. Did no one else see the toxic spikes? <laughs> oh, man. I totally lost. Huh. Well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but I was really trying, you know? As hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Andre, you can tell the master that I cheated. God damn it, she's redeeming herself. Nah, we chillin', huh? But why? It was supposed to be a fair battle, and I cheated just so I could win. That's your strength, Andre. Kindness towards po both your Pokemon and your rivals. I want to know what the text was if I said okay. <laughs> so it turns out Clara actually apologizes to you, and then you miss the whole part where Mustard gives you a compliment. So I guess I didn't really miss much. <laughs> master! I should apologize on Clara's behalf too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she just didn't want to be beaten by her rival. That's all. She's a good, hard-working student. Sniff, Master, thank you. I'm sorry, Andre. As for your punishment, as for your punishment, Clara, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. Jesus, that's actually kind of harsh. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course. Let's work on strengthening your heart. Yay! This is a Pokemon game when everything turns out happy in the end. All right, everyone. Things are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You mustered so much effort and tried so hard. I'm, I'm sure he uses the word mustard a lot. I got so teared up that I could even see half the I couldn't even see half the battle, but what I saw was amazing. You sure it wasn't all the toxic spikes getting into your eyes all around, kind of like onions? Andre, you gave it your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you who has completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang, as you were. I'm kind of wondering if the secret armor is Kubfu, actually. Andre! Um... I will... Cool. <laughs> I'll take it. No worries, Clara. You're really strong. Would it help you to know that I'm the motherfucking champion?! Sorry, I probably shouldn't cuss as much, but whatever. <laughs> um, it would help to know that, wouldn't it? Because then it would totally verify why I won. Uh, interesting. Let's check out this league card. Before I forget, like I do in every other... <laughs> nice. Uh, someone I saw on Twitter pointed out that the uh, slow row back there is... Uh, you could tell it's twisted. And some people were saying it's like when uh, models get caught photoshopping to make certain parts of them enlarged. <laughs> and kind of on the... the the horizontal axis of where the slow bro is. Anyways, I'll, I'll let you figure that out slash discuss that off of this video, <laughs> but if that's what Clara did in her lead card, I think it definitely fits her personality, <laughs> and I think it's a, a pretty cool touch. Very subtle, maybe. Let's talk to Mustard and see if he has that armor ready. Ah, uh, there you are, Andre. Kept this old man waiting, hmm? Bro, I just came to talk to you just right now. Since you completed all three trials, I'll give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It's gotta be him. Now then, come on out. Yup! 
Check it out! <laughs> What's up, Kung Fu? Oh shit! Yo! Oh damn, he like held onto the wall there for some time. Oh! Oh! He's like afraid! Oh, I love this like fully animated stuff. <laughs> I knew the secret armor wasn't the real. wasn't actual armor. Oh, is that its cry? Interesting. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Cub Fu! I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So, I was thinking, Andre. Maybe if it joins in your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Come here, Cub Fu. Bear Ma. <laughs> That's what you want to call me, Cub Fu? Sure thing. Slow little walk on over. Wow, this is very, uh... This is the most intimate getting a Pokemon cutscene slash event in the game I've ever seen. Oh, that's super cute! I will definitely take it. One of the few legendary Pokemon to evolve. Kafu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves it masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Yes, so it has two forms it can evolve into. Oh, uh, I don't want to call it Bear, <laughs> um, considering that's what it said, similar to how I named the Bulbasaur. Um, I will... Let me think about this. <laughs> okay, so... I... I'm thinking a lot about this, but I think that uh, this might be a good name. Apparently, according to Google Translate, I don't know shit on this matter, but according to Google Translate, this is bear in Japanese, um, and that kind of fits. This is a kung fu bear. I looked that up, but I guess that's some sort of meme. I'm pretty sure I've seen the video before, but I just forgot about that. Um, I'm, I was kind of thinking just adding kuma fu since it's kung fu, and the, what it evolves into is urshifu. Uh, but now I feel like I'm just mixing words together to just make it sound and. Uh, we can we can get in trouble for stuff like that. So I feel like this alone is just fine. This will do, I guess. I don't know. We'll just do it. And what I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding it to my party, actually. Um, unfortunately, someone is going to have to leave. In this case, Kubfu is a fighting type Pokemon. And we also have a fighting type Pokemon of our own, Kingsley. So uh, I, I have... This, I guess it goes into other thing. Let me switch it out and then I will also explain this. Kingsley has a leak. We want to keep that. Send the box as is. Kingsley was a good name. Now then, the first thing you, uh, first thing for you to do is to become friends with Kubfu. You need to build trust. Kubfu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. Oh, they all just, <laughs> they all paid attention to that. <laughs> and of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball. Oh, here on the Isle of Armor, they are bringing this shit back. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go for a stroll with Kubfu, why don't you? Once your best buddies, we'll start Kubfu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. Holy shit, I am really excited for that. That is obviously a heavily requested feature. Look at him, he's just looking up at me. Is he still there? Oh, he's not there. That is a heavily requested feature from previous games, and I'm really excited they brought it back. It is only in the Isle of Armor, but I am uh, ready to run outside with my teammates. Um, I'll be doing one more thing before I finish this episode off. Nice pose, nice pose. Come on, does anybody here recognize that? It's a little bit of a, of a familiar pose in this goddamn region. Does anyone know what that is? <laughs> um, let me do one more thing here. So first, let's figure out what level Cub Fu is. He is level 10. <laughs> uh, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, so... Oh, that is his cry. The one thing I wanted to say is that since I am constantly complaining here that I'm overleveled or that the game is too easy, um, one thing I've seen people recommend is that since the EXP share is on, I'm not even sure if you can turn it off in this game, um, since the EXP share is kind of OP, 
uh, they recommend having more than six Pokemon even on your team and just swapping out. Uh, I'm currently going through a play of Ultra Sun uh, where I am actually just turning off the EXP and seeing how difficult it gets. I actually lost a Pokemon battle in that for the first time. I can even tell you the last time I actually lost a Pokemon battle. Um, so it's making it more interesting. And uh, on that note as well, I actually also want to include Vine since he was given to us. Um, and I want to get the chance to get a Venusaur and see his Gigantamax form. Ozuru obviously is our main starter and our main boy, um, and I've never ever taken the starter off my team, but uh, there's no one else to really replace here, so I have to throw Ozuru out for Vine. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think from this point on in the Isle of Armor, I'm going to be running with this team. Obviously these two need uh, quite a bit of work, but I'll be throwing them in there, giving them some love, and uh, maybe even, I guess, having a sub-team here to have some fun with it. Who knows, maybe I can mix some more things up. I'm actually getting excited as I'm doing this. This is kind of the way to do it. Um, I'll be calling this episode off here, but if I am not doing anything else right now, I'll keep recording because I really, really want to get outside and I want to see the Pokemon following you. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Nice to have a Cubfu on our team and the trials, at least the early ones, done. Until next time, see you guys then. That took a while. <laughs>